Hello everybody, this is Xenocat823543, welcoming you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. In this episode, we're going to ascend the Frontier, vil ascend frontier Village, discovering Kind's shopping street with... You can't read that. Oh, Breezy Zolos. He's... Breezy Zolos is probably the mo is easily the most annoying unique monster in Machna Forest. Not most difficult in terms of level, by far, but most annoying if you're trying to fight him at a reasonable level. And reasonable, I mean, like, around the level that the unique monster is. Meanwhile, over here, there is Minana. You can find Minana and Fuko. And a weapon shop. Actually, I should be checking out the shops, but I'll do that later. Actually, I just realized you can only explore so far. On your first visit. This one I'm going to try to cover the first couple the next couple levels. We've made it to the Pollen Orb Storehouse, where you can find Doba Doba, who is sealed behind a quest already. Cherry. Who gives us an affinity link. Uh, who, in addition to adding herself to the affinity chart, gives us the link unreliable. And as you can see, they're in this area. Yeah, you can kind of see the area that they're extending from, uh, through. They're going into the bottom left corner, basically. Now let's explore these two levels at night. There's actually something interesting to do here at night. We found Dedaba, the Nopon that Zazadon wanted us to find. And we get our affinity with this area. And there's our reward. We get actually pretty good equipment. So yay. It's, it was worth it to turn that in, and we get your, a regular link between Zazadon and Dedaba. That's all on that level. Now if we go down to the level before it, back down to level one, or fourth floor, first floor, you can find this one, this guy. This Snuffin Villager wants a Colony 9 collectible. I really hope I have this. Good. That was actually worth it. Like, easily worth it. So yeah, that's why it's good to not sell collectibles. You never know when you'll need them. And here we have Medi. And you know what, now I'm gonna check out the shops while I'm at it. I'm not gonna sell stuff because, I'm not going to sell stuff because, why would I? But we have the heavy driver, which is really good. That no one can equip. Some decent stuff we have, and we have art books, heat bullet, shaker edge, culvert stance, head shaker, tempest kick we already have, dive sabot, yes, battle soul, several good art books, several pretty useful art books. So yeah, not all of them are that great, but some, but several of them are actually really good, really useful art books. So we've taken off some more, of the, so we've raised the limit on some more arts. Now the reason I'm going down even further, actually, is because yeah, there's an armor shop. The armor shop has different art books. I won't get into the art books there because they're for later. Just trust me. 
none of the art books that you can buy there are useful at the current, at the present moment. I think there are art books there. I'm actually not even sure of that. What I wanted to do, what I did, wanted to do by coming all the way down here is talk to Inpa again now. If you talk to her Inpa a second time, Inpa will give you another affinity link. This is after meeting Medi. She will give you the undecided link with Medi as well. So now we have two yellow links there. Yay! I'm not sure exactly when a lot of the links here are formed, but I do know you can create several affinity links here right off the bat. And really, as we go, I will be completing the affinity chart. I do plan on getting like the finalized affinity chart. Well, not the, f the final affinity chart, because there is no one final affinity chart, but one of the final affinity charts that results in as many affinity links that results in take doing every mutual exclusive quest during at least one path of every mutual set of mutual exclusive quests and doing every quest and getting every affinity link that just requires talking to people so we've worked our way back up to the fourth to that level Next, let's keep going up to the middle housing level. There is The reason I went up this way is because there is a quest this way. There is nothing on the other side. And it's search quest one. And we reach the pollen works on the pollen works level. There's a heart to heart here, as well as the NPC Gadada. Also, right here, but at night time, is another NPC, Rono. So now that we've met those two NPCs, we can keep climbing. And we've reached Ricky's house. Ricky m must be important to have his own house, to have this big a house. Just common sense. Why did I even change it to daytime? It should, be, it should stay, still be nighttime. There's another NPC here. We have Gawako here. Another Nopon, yeah. The archaeology level has been reached now. These outside paths have nothing on them. The paths th that lead out to the outside themselves may have something, may have people of interest on them, but otherwise it's just generic NPCs, like on, on the actual exterior of the tree. We talk to Leku and then Kilaki. And as soon as Kilaki is registered, Leku gets a quest, but we have at a loss between Leku and Kilaki. Both of their names are so fun to say. And yeah, let's check out this area at night time too. Frontier Village is so easy, you can divide it into so many small areas. Mogdamo. There. And we have another search quest. Yay. Yeah, I'm just going through accepting generic quests. We go up to the archaeology center with and challenge three has been discovered. And no, I did not want to do that. We found Lupa. Lupa is a very interesting Nalpon. I would keep her in mind for later.
up here there's actually a very interesting link you can get with Sachifa. Not well I should actually just do the first thing first. First things first and get and register Pachipa. There's a very interesting link you can act form with Pachipa in the afternoon. Once you get the link, she will be Pachipa will be sealed behind a quest and you get Worried Dad. A link from Pachipa in who's in front of your village to Garugu on Bionis Leg. And as you remember, Garugu is indirectly connected back to people in Colony 9. So yeah. Frontier Village and Colony 9 have now been connected. Pachipa's not really connect we haven't really done much connections in the way of within Colony 9 or within Frontier Village, but it's still cool that we were able to make these connections. And we can find Tuzu underneath. Right there. And we will be filling in these affinity connections, actually fairly soon in Colony 9. Let me up. And we found the item for Search Quest 3. And here's the Lapa. This is the Chief's residence, which gives a level up for all Peppas right here. Now let's try this area at night. I'm just trying to make it as far up. Here as, as I can. Ooh. Collection quest three. Yeah, I'm just going around trying to get as many quests as I can. Already done. Yeah, some of these quests just go by so quickly. I mean, we'll take how much effort I put into that. We get to the mysterious sanctuary, and we can actually. Our objective is right out there. There's an NPC there, an art art that I'm going to skip because that's where our objective is. But I'm going to keep going up the t up the tower, up it, because I want to talk to this not one villager who gives us material quest four. There is a heart-to-heart -heart here, if I could get around to it. There are many heart-to-hearts in Frontier Village, like many, many heart-to-hearts. And as you head out here, you can find Miko here. Miko will be right over in the Prophecy Hut during the day, but she's out here at night. And we discover Apex Lake as we ascend here. This is the only time you have to go outside. And meet Palu Palu. Yeah, I figured. And this is the Contemplation Terrace. Sharwa learned an art that I think is really good. And there's Fairy Jammy. There's a heart to heart. And we can start swimming. There are some item orbs here. During the daytime, there are quests here as well, I believe. Yep. Collection quest four. And I think... Oh yeah, there is a red item orb here too for one of the search quests. After this, I think I'm going to give up on like actually trying, on actually trying to find stuff. There's Search Quest 2 completed. Now let's check the quest log. I'm going to check the quest log now to see what I've missed in this area. I have Monster Quests 1 and 2. I think there's 4 for some reason. There might only be 2. Challenge 1, 2, 3. I think there are only 3. I'm missing 2 Material Quests. Well, no. The thing about this area is Material Quest 3 is not available at all. 
So I'm missing a material quest somewhere. That's nice. I will go look up the location of these NPC of the NPCs that give you these quests between videos, probably. And go do it later. I'm not going to put any more effort into questing right now. Just because I want to get the plot over with. This cutscene isn't that long, I'm pretty sure. And there is an NPC there at night, but I can't discover it. So next time, actually, we will go talk to Melia. See you then.